Hello everyone, this is your teacher Hazel and our topic for this video is 5 things you need to know about genetic linkage. So let's start first with a simple definition of linkage. When we say linkage, this is the presence in the same chromosome of two non-allelic genes affecting two traits. Now let's dissect the definition because from this definition, there are 5 things you need to keep in mind. First thing you need to know is that there are two genes that are linked. Say for instance, we have here a chromosome. By the way, we have four chromosomes here. Chromosome 1, 2, 3, and 4. And you see that there are two genes present, gene 1 and gene 2. Notice that among these four chromosomes, only chromosome 1 contains the linked genes. And you will know why as you go further with our discussion. So that's for number 1. There are two genes that are linked. Second, these genes are non-allelic, meaning they are not behaving as alleles to each other. As you can see, these genes 1 and 2 in the first chromosome do not share the same locus or location in the chromosome. Third, these non-allelic genes are present in the same chromosome. As in chromosome 1, genes 1 and 2 are in the, in the same chromosome. In chromosomes 2 and 3, the two genes are not linked, obviously because the genes are in different chromosomes which disqualifies them to be linked. And in the fourth one, the two genes are present in the same chromosome, but take note that the genes are not considered to be linked. So what do you notice from the illustration? Distance matters. The distance between the two genes, gene 1 and 2, matters. In chromosome 1, they are uh, located very close to each other. That makes it linkage to be possible because they will tend to be inherited together. In contrast to that, the genes in chromosome one, in chromosome four rather, are so far apart. They are relatively more distant, which makes it linkage to not be possible. And as a result, they will not be inherited together. Right? Fourth is that these genes affect two different traits and as a result as a consequence they are responsible for the expression of two different characteristics and fifth linkage violates mendel's law of independent assortment recall that when genes follow independent assortment what happens is that their alleles sort into gametes independently of one another in other words the allele a gamete receives for one gene does not influence the allele received for another gene. Because what happens when there is linkage, especially when it is complete and close, is that either both dominant alleles and both recessive alleles will be inherited together or the dominant and the recessive, the dominant and the recessive alleles will be inherited together. So depending on the type of linkage, which I will be discussing in another video, either these two alleles will go together, these two alleles, or these two alleles will go together. Okay? In effect, so as a result, again, violating Mendel's law of independent assortment will make the resulting phenotypic distribution different from that of Mendel's because this is the phenotypic distribution if we follow the independent uh, law of independent assortment. So if there is linkage, of course, um, there are allele combinations that will not be inherited together. So this will vary. Okay, so this will be different, right? Let's have a quick recap before I end this video. The five things you need to know about genetic linkage is that there are two genes. They are non-allelic. They are present in the same chromosome and they affect two different traits. And as a result, they violate the law of independent assortment. So that's all for this video. I am your teacher Hazel. Thank you very much for listening and I hope you learned something.